Alright guys, what's up? So today I'm going to show you how to train abs without actually doing any ab exercises at all. And I know that sounds crazy, right? But as a trainer, I try to find the most effective and efficient ways of helping my clients reach their goals. And the fact is, ab exercises don't burn that many calories. In a study found on average, a person can only burn one to two calories per 10 crunches. 10 crunches. We're talking, if we do a set of three of 20 crunches, we're talking six to 12 calories in total. Well, you might say, Eric, I don't care if I burn six to 12 calories doing crunches. I want to see my abs sculpted. I'm going to tell you why that's not going to happen. Let me tell you this. It doesn't matter how many crunches you do because the aesthetics of the abs, of the abdomen, come down to one thing and that's body composition. Body fat versus muscle. So right now I'm going to come at you guys with the numbers. We're actually going to quantify how to see the abs using body fat percentage. Generally, a female needs to be under 20% body fat for the abs to begin the show. And on the other hand, a male needs to be under 15% body fat for the abs to begin the show. Now that we got that out the way, I'm gonna share with you what I believe is the most effective way of training the core without doing any ab workouts. I believe that balanced, challenging exercises in combination with compound movements or multi-jointed movements are the best, most effective, and efficient way to train the abs. By utilizing our progressions through the BOSU ball, Swiss ball, half foam roll, one leg stands, we can effectively train the core while still doing multi-jointed exercises. Think about this, what is the main function of the core? And that's to keep us upright through resisting motion through flexion, extension, and rotation. By training the abs using their true functionality, we can become more effective and efficient in strengthening them. The best part about it is using balanced challenging exercises in combination with compound lifts, we can increase our oxygen uptake, increase our heart rate, activate more muscle fibers, thus burning more calories which means we're gonna lose more weight. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'm also gonna leave a free balance challenging workout in the description below. Make sure you check that out, and I'm out.